Thank you guys so much for the love that y'all gave the Hunger Games video. I've been wanting to do movie videos. It's my favorite thing ever and I've been wanting to do it for a while but I've always been very scared to do it because there's just such a great amount of talent and people on this platform that already do this. But y'all showed up and showed out on that video and it did way well, than, way better than I thought it ever could. Um, so I'm here with another one. My Life with the Walter Boys. This is a TV series that came out on Netflix not that long ago. I think it was like November of last year. Um, and of course it fit right into the cheesy love triangle, new girl, new family trope that I absolutely adore. And I have some things to say. I hate that this is a title because I feel so like, I feel so rude saying it, but I really do think out of, cause this trope has been done a lot out of all of the ones that have been done. <laughs> This one is probably the lowest on the list. <laughs> While I'm happy they get a season two, I'm happy that the actors get another opportunity to prove themselves in this. And while I'm happy that like, they have another job. Like I know acting is super difficult. And while I literally have no acting experience because it scares the mess out of me, I probably would never do it. I'm gonna say everything I thought about it. And if anyone from the team is watching this, guys, I, I these are literally just my thoughts. Too long of a name. I every this was actually like I was sitting down we were going through Netflix and um, my friends were like oh my god let's watch this and we're every, and every time we would like reference the show it was like after we would say uh, my life with the Walter boys we'd be like why is it so freaking long um I did just search it up because it just came to my head it turns out it is based off of a book so I actually would like to not only retract this statement but simply just say that I understand because when a person makes a book of course you're going to use their entire title is it still a long title yeah but it makes sense for a ya rom-com book so there's a love triangle and i'm going to break down the expert love triangle equation and what plays into it for it to be a successful um love triangle okay we have a beautiful girl and then we have two beautiful men all right, stay with me. So the beautiful men have to be universally beautiful, like drop dead gorgeous. And if you think I'm wrong, if you think that's not true, let me let me share these names with you, these titles with you. Vampire Diaries, okay? Stephen Damon, keep that in mind. Buffy, Angel and Spike. Dawson's Creek, really? Pacey was only the cutest, but they had other love triangles in it to where both of the guys were beautiful, okay? But even in Dawson's Creek, like, Pacey was still like drop dead gorgeous at least to me okay um gossip girl nate and joe one tree hill everyone was beautiful okay um twilight never have i ever the oc just to name a few okay um they all have these like drop dead like model-esque men to be in the love triangle now you're probably like okay gabby are you saying they were ugly no i'm saying they were regular it sounds so bad but i mean like like i always say tv is a form of escapism the reason why they perform so well is because you, you have girls such as myself gawking over these like purely unattainable just give me a second you have women gawking over these like purely unattainable man like that's the pool it's like this will i will never see this in our day-to-day -day lives i mean stefan and uh damon i will never see men just randomly at my school looking like that and that's the point of it that's like the draw to it so i'm not saying that these men were ugly i'm just saying they one seemed attainable like they both looked like guys i went to high school with and two i didn't even want to attain them like i didn't even want them for myself like usually the pool is like oh i would take him yes give him to me and in this love triangle, I just felt like I did not care for neither one of the guys, which is a vital part is what I'm trying to say. It's a vital part because if I don't care about the guys, then I don't care about the relationship and I don't care about anything that's happening. You know, they did get the girl right because the girl, the girl who played Jackie, beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Love her. I did recognize her from on my blog. I remember she was Beto. I love, I think she was Gorgina. What? were those outfits. I genuinely could, like it made me physically mad at her outfits cause she's this girl from New York, this hotshot girl, like she's born and raised in New York, right? So you know, she, she's she gotta have, she knows everything, every trend, every everything, right? She is gonna show up styling and profiling. No, it was giving mother. 
it was giving PTA meeting. It was just not, <laughs> it was not good. And I was, and y'all know, that's probably one of my favorite aspects of film because I do love fashion. That is what I do online is fashion, right? The fashion just wasn't there. It Towards the end, it got better. When they finally put a pair of jeans on that girl, I was so ecstatic. Like that whole episode, I was happy because I was like, finally, right? And I think that was one of the last episodes when she was planning the wedding. And the thing is, is that the girl who was like the mean girl, I forget, I forget her name, but she ended up coming around in the end. She was dating or she was like in a situation ship with the older brother. Her outfit's eight. Like everything she wore, I was like, no, she's chilling. Like her first outfit that we saw her in, she was in a dress, eight, eight down. She looked so good. And I was like, why can't we just translate that? It was possible, but I think they like either had someone who's not in tune with like the fashion right now on it, or they were trying to make a statement or something because she's so responsible and she always gets A's and she's like the perfect person that she has to dress like a grandma. It sucks cause she's so beautiful. She's literally the most gorgeous girl ever. And her outfits were just not matching her. This one, now that I'm like months after watching it, I, I do heavily support this. And it's that I feel like there were too many storylines. I saw a TikTok and a girl was like, she skips every time it gets to like the older brother and his wife or whatever. And that whole thing that was going on. I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed that simply because the black woman was eating and it's rare to see have black roles in shows like this. So I was very happy to see a black woman in one of the co-leading roles. I did enjoy that. But while I enjoyed that aspect, I did find it kind of boring, the extra roles. Like I did not care about their whole entire marriage and what was happening with them, honestly. I did not, I did not care about the fact that the older brother just wanted to be successful. I did not care about the cafe. I, just, I genuinely did care about it. I think if they would have replaced that with more information on why they're losing money on the house and if they're gonna have to move out and what exactly is going on with the money situation behind the house, cause that's still tied to the family. That still affects the family. I feel like what the brother does and what he has going on, that affects no one. He's living on his own. Well, in the beginning he was living on his own, living his own life. I just feel like we could have did a spinoff if we really cared that much about them, which I don't think we did. Not to say they weren't great actors. I think they did a pretty good job, but it just, too many sore lines that could have been kicked out and we could have used that for something else that was going on within the family if you have too many things going on all of them are mediocre at best like if you have so many storylines going on they're not gonna be you're not gonna have one really good one and luckily for them they and for them they had like this strong start with one the love triangle her family is gone. She's joining this new family. Two guys love her. They love her in different ways though. Like that's a very strong one, but I think it felt mediocre because they were so busy trying to have this plot and this storyline and this storyline. And they all ended up being mediocre or even less than when, if we would have condensed and had maybe two main storylines and then some tiny side pieces here and there for humor and things like that then it would have been perfect and it would have been it would have hit way harder than it actually did and lastly i feel like jackie with how detrimental her tr past is i feel like we didn't experience much of a character arc with her like yes yeah, she got happier over time but i also saw a tiktok saying like she just said i'm fine a lot and that was like it that dismissed it which is kind of relevant it's kind of real life relatable i get that but she didn't really have an arc like i wanted a part where jackie just like broke down heaving crying grasping at the floor at the walls ripping seams out of her clothes that's what i wanted like i needed because we never really got to see her like grieve i mean she didn't just lose one or both of her parents she lost her whole entire family might i add she lost her mom dad and sister that's all she had Okay, and she's not even living with her uncle. She's living with her uncle's friend. I mean, um, she's living with her mom's best friend family, a family that she's never met before. Like that is a big change. I've had breakdowns over less, way less. So the fact that she never really had like a point where she was at her lowest, I feel like the whole drinking thing gets old. It's like, oh, she's drinking her problems away. Old, we've seen that in almost every single teen rom-com show movie ever like okay we get it also that's not the only way that teens you know hit rock bottom by the way their way of like 
you know moving her character along was like her indulging herself in her like brother's problems or whatever her other family's problems and like trying to help them there she helped with the wedding she helped with uh cole's grades she dated the other i don't i don't know it's like she gave so much and she never got anything back in return i mean her staying because she loves the family aspect is cool and all loved it of course family girl but I just feel like she never had any arc. We never got to, like a lot of people were like, you can talk to me if you need it, but she never got to talking. And it's like, this is her story. This is her life with the Walter boys. Like we need to develop, how is she? Is she struggling with depression? Is she struggling with anxiety? How is it like, does she still see them sometimes? Or um, does she still see parts of them in her day to day? Does she have bad days? Does she have good days? And I know they showed that with like, them breaking the, but th them breaking her sister's teapot on her birthday and like her being like I'm fine and then leaving while she's like about to cry but it's always that like it's always like it's a start but it's never like you know it's just like I feel like we never really got to connect with Jackie over her big issue the issue that launched her into this world we never got to discuss and if that was the writers and directors goal okay then accomplished right um but that's just something I would have wanted to see I, w I would love to see her go through the grieving process and her different ways of grief. That's everything. The show's growing on me. I mean, I'm like an edit left and right. What can you, I'm just a girl. Like I'm just a girl. But <laughs> like, out of all of the ones in the world, um, if I had to sit down and choose one, I wouldn't choose that one again. Cause it, it had so much potential, but it was so poorly executed. Whoa, that sounded mean. No, not so poorly. It was just not as well executed. And I feel like we're too far in the game to be making such simple mistakes. We've had this exact show thousands of other times on Netflix, Hulu, on regular TV, on Disney Channel. We've had this done so many times to the point where it's like, we shouldn't be screwing this up, you know? Like we shouldn't be screwing up the simple things. That's my thoughts. That's my opinion on that. And that was everything I thought was wrong with my life with the Walter boys.